Okay, everybody, I made it over here to uh, Lake Charles. I'm going up to a little town called uh, De Riddle, Louisiana. Going to uh, Mableville, Arkansas, which is just a suburb of uh, Little Rock. But yeah, I had finished it like 10 o'clock this morning over there at Kmart. And, you know, they, they should already have me lines up, lined up all day yesterday. And I guess this load is supposed to be picked up today, but it fell through because the product's not ready. So I guess they were just going to let me sit there in that Kmart park a lot until tomorrow. I told them I was not because once Kmart closes, I said there is no sanitary facilities around whatsoever. So, they husband went ahead and gave me this load. I said, nah, at least I can go to a truck stop. Now, so I'm about an hour away now from where I got to pick up. It's paper, 46,000 pounds worth. So, yeah, yeah, I talked to Terry, my buddy. He said, uh, Mike, there in Deep South, did get my application. He does want me, but he don't want to call me until he has a position open, which says shouldn't be too long, and uh, everything. So, as soon as they give me the okay, I'm leaving this place. You know, they got bad communication skills. Uh, they should, you know, they, you know, being a major carrier like this, they should have their all their ducks in a row. But you know, I'm setting eight, nine, ten hours anywhere I go, and it's it's old. I should not be doing that. So. As soon as Deep South calls me and tells me a, a start date, I'm going to tell dispatch to get me back to Atlanta. They can have their truck. They can have their easy pass, all that. They they can have this. I'm gone. No hard feelings. It just turned out they're just not the company for me. If you like setting around, that's a good company for you. But I want to rock and roll. And with Deep South, you're home every weekend, so you know you're coming home. But the only bad thing is they can't, you can't have no riders with you. Since I guess because you're home every week. So, why well, says she can deal with that. Plus, like, where I'm going to pick up in the morning, it stays right in our directions. They do not let riders on the facility. So, it stays right in there. You'd have to drop them off at Walmart or something up there. They ain't going back when you're finished loading, no matter how long it takes. You know, and come back and get them. And I think that's bull. I think when she, well, whoever's in a truck with you, and you're paying day insurance a month for them to be in a truck, they should have the same rights as the driver. But not at this place I take it. So. And I ain't dropping my wife at any damn Walmart. Nah, not with a debit card, I'm not. <laughs> No, no, no. So, I'm hoping to be home this weekend. So, I figured, give me up to Little Rock for Friday. It's only about two and a half hours to Memphis, then three, four hours from Memphis back to Birmingham, you know. So, can't be that, you know. Maybe that's what they got planned. Maybe, you know, plus uh, Lori, the dispatch said there was nothing in the area where I was at. I said, no kidding. You know, we're out in the middle of nowhere in New Liberia. They ain't nothing. So, so, like I said, people, as soon as I can find out, I'll let everybody know what's going on. Y'all take care. I'm going to go get me a bite to eat. Sleep well tonight. Bye.